Hi, it's Minecraft Mountain Mom here, and today we're going to learn about volcanoes. We'll talk about a specific type of volcano called a composite volcano, learn about what it looks like on the inside, and then watch it erupt. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be really exciting. We'll start by just flying around the outside of the mountain. Composite volcanoes usually form where one ocean tectonic plate is colliding with a continent. The two plates are forced together, and because the oceanic crust is more dense, it gets pushed under the continent and starts to melt. Composite volcanoes are found in many places around the world. Some famous examples are Mount St. Helens and Mount Fuji in Japan. Composite volcanoes have relatively steep sides and are made up of alternating layers of lava and broken rock and ash from the often violent eruptions. You can see some steam rising from this volcano, which shows that it is active, and we'll see it erupt later in this video. Let's fly around the back of the mountain. I've only actually made half of the mountain, so you will be able to see what's going on inside the volcano. Now we'll go through all the different features that you can see here. First, the continental crust is represented here by diorite. Actually, most of the continental crust is made up of rocks like diorite and granite, so Minecraft can model that pretty accurately. Next, you can see the mantle, represented by glowstone here. The mantle is the layer of the earth underneath the crust. You can also see the oceanic crust, and it is made of basalt, both in Minecraft and in real life. Basalt is more dense than diorite, and so when the two plates get pushed together, the basalt gets forced downwards into the mantle where it starts to melt. I know in Minecraft you can have lava underground, but in geology, any molten rock underground is called magma. Only when it erupts out of the ground is it called lava. So as the basalt melts, it forms this magma chamber, and it also starts melting some of the surrounding diorite. So the magma has kind of a mixed composition. Around the magma chamber, the rock gets heated up and changes its appearance. I've used quartz to show this in Minecraft because you would expect to see a lot of quartz in this area. As the rock melts, it has lots of dissolved gases, which force it upwards through the rocks. It forms tubes called conduits, and where they reach the surface, it is called the vent. Sometimes the magma spreads out to the side and flows between the layers, but doesn't come to the surface. That's called a sill. Sometimes it branches off to the side and gets up to the surface. This is called a side vent, and the rocks that form there are called a parasitic cone. Finally, you can see that there are different layers of rock inside the volcano. The grey layers are made up of andesite, which is what you would often see in a real composite volcano. These form when the lava that flows during an eruption cools down and solidifies back into a rock. In a composite volcano, you also get layers of broken rock and ash that fall down during and after the eruption. If you use Java edition of Minecraft, you have a new rock type called Tuff, which is what this is. Sadly, it is not yet available in Pocket Edition, which is what I'm using. So I've just used sandstone so you can see the different layers. Okay, now we're going to watch this volcano erupt. It might be surprising, but lava is not actually the biggest danger from a volcanic eruption. These volcanoes, when they erupt, instantly melt the glaciers on, that top, on their tops, which creates huge mud flows that cause a lot of damage and unfortunately can take people's lives. Another danger of eruptions is huge clouds of hot ash and poisonous gas that run down the mountainsides, burning everything in their path. With modern technology, large eruptions can be predicted. There are often small earthquakes, changes in the shape of the ground, and increases in steam or ash from the vent. These signs can sometimes give enough advance warning to evacuate pre people from the area before the eruption takes place.
Well, that's all for today. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and learning about volcanoes. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you can see more of my epic Minecraft mountain builds and learn about geology using Minecraft. See you next time.